friends welcome back to think like a child and today we are going to talk about the book knowledge encyclopedia dinosaurs written by dk over 60 prehistoric creatures as you have never seen them before this line says it all very stunning pictures so there are five different chapters in this book which you all can see in the page content first chapter is the dinosaurs the dinosaurs talks about like the life on earth what's inside a dinosaur and much more so this also talks about the jurassic era the this talks about what how the climate was and what dinosaurs lived like post the suits the jurassic era you might have seen the movie jurassic park which is uh, which uh, it also has this era. there is only one era don't you think it's all about dinosaurs like the jurassic and cretaceous there is only one era. so you might seen the dinosaurs in the movie but it's not in reality it's not in the jurassic era it's in the very last stage of cretaceous era but there is a close relate relative which we might think was the tyrannosaurus in the first time which is the allosaurus now it's very close to size but not in like at the inner and outer parts the the cretaceous era which is very long and a new era this talks about what happened after the mass extinction war which killed the dinosaurs so the dinosaurs first so this talks about plants dinosaurs or even apes the first page of the book so you can see the comparison between human elephant blue whale argentinosaurus and diplodocus so you can see the inner and outer parts of the dinosaur in this page so diversity of dinosaurs first era which is the jurassic era so the climate is lower than today and uh, you can see the uh, uh, animals and marine reptiles first page of the book sorry the the jurassic era talks about the nothosaurus so you can see the size comparison which is the best part of this book so you check over to how many years ago it lived its size compared to human and where did it stay habitat what was the habitat and what was its main diet so as you can see this is supposed to suit is like an oversized alligator look at its scattered teeth so yeah in a very good picture and it is so this we are getting to the end of the first chapter so the jurassic chapter now this chapter is all about the temperature which is lower than you ever expected so you can see the giant dinosaurs and in what be it's like squid so you can see the small animals actually there are many small animals This is a big one. Oh, a marine reptile. This is basically the Ichthyosaurus. So, Ichthyosaurus is not very big, and it is in patch to be protected. 
and their main prey was Lorapedon. So this Lorapedon, as you can see, it's eating an inkless one. It's not that big, but it's eating an inkless one. It's a big jump. A gliding dinosaur. You might think it's flying because it has wings, but it's a gliding dinosaur. Oh, so you can see the Allosaurus and look at its red spikes. They're not actually red, but they are orange. But now he is generating heat. Naposuchus. Look at his long teeth. It's like this as its wingspan is about the size of a new man. So you can see. This dinosaur, long spines. This dinosaur's name is Kentosaurus. Diplodocus. You can see it's as long as a uh, three buses, three average yellow school buses. So this is a very small find. Stegosaurus, which I just talked about a few minutes ago. You can see. Size comparison, which is a bit a huge compared to many. All our sources. I told you that was a close relative. You might think that this was a dinosaur, but the color difference may help you. Giraffe. Look at how huge he is. He can squish us with a little single toe. So this also, uh, uh, this name also says it all because you can see that it's tall like a giraffe and that's why it's named giraffe it in. Taller than the ladder of a spider. Again a gliding dinosaur. The Cretaceous. Now this is a very long so I'm going to just like not explain you so much about it. So it's the Pelion. Look. Add this. Now I want to surprise you with something. You can see that Spinosaurus. So you might think this is a meat eating, but actually it's not a meat fish and is larger than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So this is about the Argentinosaurus. It's also big, like a hundred feet. 53 meters. The, so this is Criterion. And it's all and it's big as a human, as tall as a human. As you can see it's male is bigger than female. So you can see Velociraptor. Velociraptor killer claw and much more about its feathery body and its breath. Albatronics. Look at its long neck. It is like half of its body length. So you can see this, this, this. Tizinosaurus. You can see the claw which is larger than the sword. Can you believe that? Dina Suchis. So I am reading something for you. The mighty jaws of this the amazingly large crocodile can be comparable comparable to the bite force of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It means that it's equally large. You can see the back. And so this is also a mice which has spiky and large teeth. So you can see a regular or I should say a extinct mice. Some small vertebrates like cockroaches survive the mass extinction. So you can see which is inclusive. You can see the risky attack. Attacking an inclusive could be and result in a both a leg or even death, even for a large predator. So you can see, mm, Mosasaurus. 
Now this is a close 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 relative to the giant shark, which is Megalodon. We'll see him later. So you can see. Look at how huge his wingspan is. It's like the size of a Boeing Narrow 77 or I should say a small jet plane. You can see now this Triceratops, one of the most famous dinosaurs. And finally we came to the page where Tyrannosaurus is. You can see there's some bad things about it which is big but agile. The Tyrannosaurus body is big but is very agile. A new era. So this also talks about what happened after the mass action. So you can see Tintobo, the largest snake ever existed on history. So you can see its bone skeleton and how and and you scientists figure out how large it is because of the lack of like crocodiles and animals which extinct eat each because of it eats prey and uh, prey has scratches his bones of scratches of Tintobia's jaw so that's why scientists understood this snake is huge you can see uh, so, where's the boy? The monkey. Which one takes you? And it's kind of cute, no? Mega teeth. Look at this. Look at this saber tooth cat's teeth. And look how huge this slot, or I should say, mega thedium is. He. How large it is. Like. Huge. Okay, so this is a meat-eating pig. It's not any regular pig, it's a huge pig. <laughs> so you can see the, the Megalodon shark, which is three times the size of a modern Ritwan shark. You can see its size is 60 feet in length. It shows 59, but it could be 60. So you can see. So now this is kind of huge but cute. You can see this giant slot called Megatherium which we just talked about a minute ago. So this is called the Miller Dawn. You can see its large teeth which can reach up to 7 inches. So now this is basically comparable to the size of Megalodon's teeth. They are similar actually. So you can see its jaw, which can open, which is 120 degrees, can open that much. And a tiger is just simple 70 degrees. You can see it's huge, it's very small compared to this small. So you can see the woolly mammal. So this came uh, the, when the ice age happened and these animals died out. Now this is just about dinosaur size. Mass extension inside the neck and fossilization. That's the most important part, fossilization. And the thing when terrain is So now this book ends right over here. After this it ends. And then the grocery and technology will come. All and the last line is telling. These are very cool three lines. You can see these dinosaurs all over and the Smilodon which we just talked about. So although this is a very good book, you can buy it if you really like this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Goodbye, I'll see you next time.